I would just like to call upon my next guest, Brian Rodericks. He's from Mumbai, as I mentioned before, and he is someone who really is passionate about theater, about uh, music, and he really, really uh, puts uh, his passion out through his lyrics. And uh, what he does is something very, very amazing during this lockdown. He's also uh, collaborating with a lot of musicians uh, in the music space, and he's been active in the circuit since 2015. So I think I've spoken a lot about him. So I want him to right now extend that conversation. And I call upon R Brian Rodericks on screen. What's up? What's up, Brian? buddy. <laughs> Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, I think there was much more to say, but I just thought that, you know, it just no, would I think, make I think better sense. <laughs> that is, I think that is perfect. That is perfect. perfect. Yes. Uh, so, so thank you so much, uh, Brian, for coming on the show, uh, for joining us yeah. all this evening, uh, for coming in through your, with your original compositions. And I would just want you right now to speak mm -hmm. about your musical journey. Uh, like if I've kind of missed out a few points out here, uh, and you know what you've been doing this lockdown, and how what drives you uh, to keep writing music and to uh, follow music. So actually, the thing is, I started with music. I think back in school, so I picked up the guitar because I was very influenced by the Eagles and all these amazing bands you know out there. So I picked up the guitar in school, and then I started singing in a choir, and then it just took on from there. So uh, yeah, I would say like I started off at a very early age. And uh, writing, the writing happened back in college because uh, I don't know, I just, one fine day I just went on to my terrace and I sat down and I said, I have to write down something. So I sat down for an hour or something I, I remember and I came up with a horrible song. <laughs> I mean, what can you expect for a song? So that was it. And after that, uh, I mean, there was no stopping. And uh, it's been a wonderful journey, I'd say. And coming back to this lockdown, this lockdown has been kind of, uh, I think, brutal on everybody in a way so the what i try to do is i just try to make people happy and like you know chill out a bit because there's a lot of stress in the, and there's a lot of tension right now everywhere around if you if you if you uh, you know you, you look around so i just try my best to you know make people laugh and make people smile so i do i mean i go on instagram live i write songs or you know whatever jingles this and that so that people you know just stay connected and it makes people happy. I mean, so nothing more, you know, that would nothing, nothing more bring me more happiness than that. So that's why I do it. That's what drives me. So, yeah. That's, that's, uh, you know, some, some crazy stuff that you've been up to uh, this <laughs> lockdown, but uh, I just want, I, I know, you know, the viewers are just like kind of waiting, you know, to hear or to see that side of you. So what is it that you've lined up for us uh, this evening? What are you going to present okay. us? The first song actually which I'm going to do for you guys uh, is the song which I wrote in about, I think, uh, 2017, I think. So back then I was listening to a lot of country music and uh, this first song, it's, it's one of the first songs that I initially wrote and it's all about being in the right place. So this song is called Home and it's all about, I mean, everybody has a different opinion or a different perception of home. You know, like some people, it might be a person for another person it might be a place so you know though that there, there are differences in perceptions so i mean mm. what you guys can relate to this one's called home so what i'm going to do is minimize my screen uh, so that you uh, so that the viewers get a better picture of you uh, and you can just start ahead okay for sure for sure yeah man cheers all right. Uh, okay, so guys, uh, this one's called Home, and it was something like this. One, two, three, four. Back in the meadow, the meadow of yellow, round and round, and say, back in the day. 
pain was a tough thing. Round and round and sing. So take me to the Thank you so much guys this one was home and i hope you guys liked it uh 
Okay, so this next song that I'm going to be doing is actually a really unfinished song. Okay, so I just started writing this song, and I thought, uh, you know, why not give give you guys a sneak peek because it'd be pretty cool, right? And I'm actually contemplating on this because it sounds pretty cool, uh, but I don't know whether I should make it a record or just leave it. But hopefully soon, <laughs> I might decide. Okay, anyway, the song uh, is called December. and uh, the song is all about waiting okay so the song is basically about waiting for waiting for the right thing okay and uh, in our fast paced world we often forget about you know things and we just move forward we don't really want to wait for things for the good things in life and we just move forward with whatever we get you know like it's it's pretty sad but that's true and uh, so i've just written the song about that it's about waiting and it's about uh it's about distances it's also about distances so it's about uh, knowing the someone far away and waiting for the person and so it's about distances and it's about waiting i think they correlate because whatever <laughs> so anyways this song's called december it's really like a rough it's a rough version of the song and uh, hope you guys like it do something like this <clears throat> One, two, three, four. You pack your bags, walk out the door, take your plane. Across the shore, you wipe your eyes. Oh, you say goodbye. Oh, I wish the sun was light. I see you smile on the screen. Six thousand miles away. You feel right here. Love you cry oh you share your dreams. You promise these days will pass real fast so rain on me. Oh my love. This rain about that so that that's called uh, december and moving forward to this last song which i'm going to do for the night so this song is uh, really special to me it's i think i think by far this is one of the best songs i've ever written hands down and uh, so this uh, song uh, so the way i'd like to or the way i always describe this song is all it's about love uncertainties and everything in between and This song took me one entire year to write. So yeah, I waited and I like you know it was a game of patience and some of it and I feel this is one of my best songs so far and I hope you guys like it and it's called Grab Your Glass of Wine. I'm potentially thinking about you know putting this song forward so let me know, let me know what you think about it guys. And enjoy. This one's called Grab Your Glass of Wine.